The Kamburu Kaga Focal Areas Development Committee was founded in 2008 and became a self-help group in 2012. Throughout the years, this self-help group has grown in size and in development with a membership ranging between 15 to 20. When you are Kulima Kaga, Kulima Kama Ishirini, Lakini Wanaendlea, Wangino Ametoka, Wameenda, Lakini Wanaendlea Mapakia, you are Kulima Kiasi. The group is keen on agriculture and grows a number of foods, the newest of which is the pepino melon fruit. This magical fruit is rich in nutrients such as vitamin C and antioxidants that help in the prevention of several diseases. Wakati walinielezea hati hii juisi kuna chenye itanishaidia kwa kuponya hiyo magoti. Akaniambia hati nifanya kukunywa kama siku ishirini hivo. Kila siku, kila siku. Na nikafanya hivo. Mimi sasa nikona karibu hata miezi miwiri hata zaidi na hiyo magoti ilitulia. Although the fruit has its origins in South America, it can thrive well in the Kenyan tropical climate. Ngalau wakati uni wakati wa wa mingi ndio sasa unaona kama hii sasa ah uh, hii sisi naanza kuteremka chini kuanguka kuanguka naanza kuchomeka kuchomeka juu ya juu ya mvua baridi haipedi baridi sana sinapata sinapenda climate moderate ikiwa ni jua mingi sinaharibika ikiwa ni mvua mingi sinaharibika hasa sana inakuwa attacked by Early blight, not little blight. The fruit is bright green or yellow green and often has some red or purple grooves. The flesh is golden yellow when ripe with a narrow seed cavity. The pepino melon is entirely edible, meaning you can eat its skin, flesh, and seeds. Pepino has been known as a, a healthy fruit. Pepino ni tunda ambalo ni ifafa itufanya tuwe tuungane pamoja na tufuatilie sana matumizi na faida zake kiafya na hata kutoka kukuza hadi kutumia. The pepino melon fruit is deliciously lucrative in more ways than one, providing a means for farmers to make a consistent living while giving consumers a healthy taste of the fruit with medicinal properties. Most of the juices that they are, uh, they are pro processing are healthy juices. Sio tu da tu na ogeza matuda igine na hiyo juice inakuwa sawa. Anaitwa ka special, hiyo ni special juni ya kutibu. Sasa hiyo tunayetu nakuja unamwelezea nitengenezee juice special ya kunitibu ninaumwa na hivi na hivi. Besides the local market, the crop has a very good market in Europe and Japan. As other markets shrink or get saturated, the lucky farmers growing pepino melons are literally growing money on trees. Kuna customer wengi wananunua hizi matunda. Hasa wana wanafanya onda huko kwa 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 outlet yetu. Mtu anasema anataka kilo moja, kilo bili. Tunauza hata hatupeleki soko kidunguri, tunauza tu locally. Pepino melons have large deposits of vitamin A, C, K and B. Yenye unaniona hivi. Mimi nazoea kutumia macho inde. Na kukua kwa kufuatiria hii juice, sasa hata naweza nifanye kazi yangu bila. Na siku anaweza. Sasa imenisaidia vilivyo hii juice. They are also rich in minerals such as copper and iron, which are essential in blood formation and boosting immunity. Papino melo ni mumea mzuri sana kwa mana ni mumea unavario nyingi kwa mwili ya watu. 
inatibu vitu kama arthritis, high blood pressure na magonjwa mengi mengine mengi. Potassium in the fruit helps in lowering blood pressure and improving blood flow. Watu wakiwa na ugonjwa hii high blood pressure ina inatwanga hiyo haraka sana. Pepino is also diuretic which means it accelerates the passage of urine and is therefore highly in demand by diabetics. They sell to especially the, the people living with this, the, those conditions such as diabetes, arthritis, high blood pressure among others. This magical fruit is also a godsend to fitness fanatics as its low calorie content helps in reducing weight gain. And that's not all. The pepino melon is also a good source of beta carotene antioxidants which are essential in preventing numerous diseases. The Kamburu Kaga group also manufactures pure pepino juice which is in high demand due to its ability to flush out toxins in the body. The pepino fruit juice is also blended with other highly nutritious fruits and vegetables to create unique products. The endless benefits of pepino melon fruits are tried, tested and true and can only be contested by their perishable nature. For this reason, the making of pepino juice becomes an immediate necessity that flips the switch on entrepreneurship. In as much as the Kamburu Kaga self-help group are taking pepino farming to greater heights, they have faced numerous challenges such as sustaining membership, declining numbers, as well as getting commitments. This is the first thing that we have to do with the Ministry of Kilimo and the Serikali. But it has been done for a long time, and after that, the people who have been here have been able to do the work of the Ministry of Kilimo sababu ya shida zingine zito kutofautiana lakini wale walibaki sasa ndio ni kama wale watu tunasema ni watu kama 20 ambao wamebakia the growth of the pepino project has been made possible through the ministry of agriculture kuna mwalimu anaitwa Geoffrey Kimani agriculture officer akaanza kutufunza mambo mengi juu ya kupanda habari ya kupanda uh, pilipili hoho nyanya na vitu kama hicho. Na sasa kwa vile hilo hiyo hiyo greenhouse tulipatua bure. Sasa tukaona ni vizuri kuendelea kuwa na mafunzo kutoka kwa kikasha ofisa wetu wale tumepatua na serikali na bado tunaendelea anaendelea kutufunza. Serikali inatusaidia sana kwa ajili ya huyu mtu anaitwa agriculture officer. Tunashirikiana na wanashirikiana Uh, agricultural officer na sikiana na, na sisi anakuja mara mingi sana kutu, kutusomesa eh uh, serikali inaingilia hapo i work with the farmers and especially farmer groups uh, i train them about uh, farming uh, the other activities is like uh, 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 You shall do agriculture in uh, uh, demand driven. So whatever farmers may require from me uh, cause pertaining agriculture you should assist them. The county government is keen on organic farming and has provided important training to farmers. When it comes to uh, organic agriculture or agroecology we usually work together to reach our farmers. Uh, to teach them uh, on how they can do agriculture that cannot affect the environment and uh, agriculture that uh, will help them to produce food uh, that uh, will help them to improve their health. Other organizations have stepped in as well, including the Institute for Culture and Ecology 
or ICE and the Participatory Ecological Land Use Management also known as PELAM. PELAM is a network of NGOs. We are working in 12 African countries. We are in Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda and Ethiopia. We are in South Africa, Lesotho, Botswana and Swaziland. We are also in Zimbabwe, Malawi and Zambia. Our regional office is based in Zambia. I am the the, the country I'm the, the one in charge of the uh, Kenya chapter. ICE is an NGO working in Kenya in seven counties and we work directly with community groups uh, and also while engaging stakeholders. We are members of uh, networks in Kenya and in Africa and uh, in Kenya we are members of uh, PELAM Kenya uh, where we partner in implementing uh, projects uh, on ecological farming uh, and also environmental conservation. Baada ya mwaka moja also ndio kikundi kingine ikaingia kikundi inaitwa ICE. Ilikuwa tu inatembelea wakulima kuona vile wanafanya kwa kwa greenhouse zao au mashamba yao na vile walikuja wakaona zile kasi tunafanya kwa greenhouse yetu wakafurahishwa na hicho kikundi sasa wakaanza kutupatia seminars sasa hawa nao watu tukaenda nao kwa muda wanatete seminars wanatete walimu na pia hawa wakafurahi na ile kazi tulikuwa tunafanya hapo kukaa kama miezi sita baada ya aiskuja wakalete pelam nao pelam ikakuja kwa vile waliabiwa na na ais wakakuja wakashungulia wakaangalia na wakaona ile kazi tunafanya ni kazi mzuri. Sasa kutoka hapo na wakaanza wakaanza kutu, kutusaidia na mawaidha na masomo na kutoka wakati huo wa 2017 na no, 2018 ndipo hiyo pela mwiliingia. Tumeona manufaa mengi kutoka AIS na pela Pelam, a network of civil society organizations and NGOs, works together with small-scale farmers in 10 African countries to promote agricultural, entrepreneurial and networking opportunities for local organic farmers. One of the things we do is that uh, as the secretariat because this uh, we are the second country secretariat, we normally collaborate with other networks. The purpose or the main purpose of this is really to find out best practices, best practices from outside Uh, and then you bring these best practices to Peram Kenya members so that now they can it can add value to their work it can add actually add to their work because Peram is a running network we promote i mean we collaborate very closely with the Kwan that is Kenya Organic Agriculture Network we collaborate very closely with the African Bondevas Network that is APN we collaborate with the Wonder Forum they are based in Spain we collaborate very closely with the AFSA this is a, a network of networks Uh, but the main aim of all, of all these linkages is that to see what others are doing, what is it that you can get from our members, and what can members, our members learn from them and then put into their work. And we feel that this adds a lot of value uh, to, the mem- to the work of our members, and this also increases the impact of their work. Through training on new innovative farming practices, marketing skills and increased visibility, organic farmers get a front row seat to value addition that goes a long way in promoting sustainability and growth. We identified Kamboro Kaga group uh, because one uh, it, it is a value addition project and um, the group had been producing a variety of fruits especially the pepino uh, tree tomato among others and but they were having challenges in marketing and um, there was also a lot of exploitation in um, by the middle persons uh, because uh, uh, they, they could not uh, uh, keep the fruits for long tuda kama hii nimetengeneza juice yake ni tuda moja na hii tuda moja inatoa juice Eh, kiasi hii hiyo tuda nilikuwa nimenunua shiriki 40 na hiyo 40 nikifanya hii value addition glass kama hii inauza 50 shillings na hii juice itatoka glass bili na nusu kwa hivyo badala ya kuuza hiyo tuda 
nitengeneza juice nifanye valuation nitauza shilingi moja pengine na ishirini. kwa hivyo itakuwa na faida zaidi KK group uh, was among the was the, the group that has higher production on for, for fruits and uh, they really needed uh, support to to increase their income from the, the fruits they, they were producing as more and more interest groups come together to strengthen local enterprises such as the Kamburu Kaga self help group sustainability and longevity in the marketplace becomes accessible especially as plans for expansion to international markets gets underway they have people who have utilized their products and they have testimonies they can give and they share that because of the juice the pepino juice that they have been taking from the out, uh, from the groups outlet they have improved their health that by itself to the group to ice even to pelam kenya is an achievement because this will enlarge their market and this is also encouraging the members those probably who may have had an idea to pull out they are getting encouragement to continue and no wonder they are talking about opening another outlet in a place like Ivongoli. The Kamburu Kaga self-help group is now well on its way to financial empowerment, especially as the pepino juice manufacturer continues to make the impact that it has. They have gained confidence that they can do business, business that can add income, or rather bring them regular and increase income. And for sure they testify that they have increased their income because of the business of selling juice. Um, they have also been able to diversify to other fruits, and this again is also uh, increasing uh, uh, their market volume. The group is a powerful example of what can be achieved through community mobilization, government support, and special interest groups. I would recommend to other stakeholders and even people outside uh, these groups to think coming together, working as groups, because through groups they can get a lot of training, they can get a lot of attention, not only from NGOs, but also from the county government. And also through working together as, as groups, they, they are able to access uh, even credit from um, uh, microfinance institutions. They also be able to attract even the mainstream extension services, and they also be able to cascade and to bridge many others who have not uh, learned the techniques and especially the agroecological uh, practices that they are running and benefiting from them and even increasing uh, their income at the household level. After all, if we want to go far, we can only get there together. There is no opposition in, uh, 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 in organic farming. Right from the training, uh, I remember when I was being trained, I was trained about organic agriculture. So the attitude is positive and the government is supportive on organic farming. One of the things I would like to ask is uh, to, uh, to impose our members is to promote, to increase what we call horizontal networking. There's so much they can learn from each other. When they are working together, when farmers from a member to another member, they are running together. When our, our, our members are also running from each other, to me that is uh, very, very important. That's why uh, Pelham was interested for increase of social networking, learning from each other. Kuna watu wengi ambao tuseme ya bari ya hii matuda ya pepino. Wale tulifunza hivyo ya matuda hivyo. Farmer the road. Wengi tano wamepanda bila kuvia kwa kikundi. Na pia hawa wanawikia wanapeleka kwa soko. Kwa hivyo tunaonda hata kama wahaingi kwa kikundi bado wanapeleka kwa kia hii ya wengine. As for the pepino juice, well, you'll have to taste it to believe it. But one thing's for sure, you'll always keep wanting more.